Well, hello everyone and welcome to our webinar today as part of our three webinar series over the course of six weeks. This is our second webinar in the series and today we'll be talking about how to maximize the LifeWave compensation plan. So in our previous webinar, we talked about all the ways that you can earn and why LifeWave compensation plan is just so dang easy, simple, and super rewarding. But today, what we're going to really do is dive into a couple of the bonuses within our plan and talk a little bit about how when you're really strategic and specific about how you approach earning with these particular bonuses, it really opens up a lot of opportunity for you. So I'm really excited to talk to you about that. For those of you that are looking for translation services, if you click on the interpretation button at the bottom of the screen, you can access the languages that are available for you. Um, we'll be presenting this in English today, as well as English this evening when we present as well. So go ahead and select the language that you need and you'll be able to access that simultaneous interpretation. So. Again, thank you for joining. We look forward to talking with you a little bit about, again, how to maximize the compensation plan and really make your efforts go a long way so that you can have great results with your earning and building your business here at LifeWave. So let's get started. Now I talked about how our plan is very simple, right? It's, and it's really rewarding. And it is also focused, you know, very simple. There are four ways that you can earn within our compensation plan. It's focused because you're building with two specific teams and it's ultimately rewarding because of the type of plan that we have within a binary and the way that our bonuses work. So it's a really great plan. And it's something that if you spend a little bit of time trying to understand, you can really see the, re the rewards and the results in a meaningful way. So like I said a second ago, there are four ways that you can earn. You can earn through retail commissions when you share LifeWave technology with your customers. You can earn product introduction bonuses when you share the business opportunity with others that are like-minded and who want to share this potential, this opportunity, as well as this product with others. You can earn through binary or cycle commissions, and you can also earn with matching bonus. Now, today, what we're really going to focus on are the third and fourth ways that you can earn, because within the binary structure that we have as part of our compensation plan, there's a lot of income opportunity there. Additionally, within the matching bonus, this is a great way for you to really, really over time, build up a great residual way for you to earn income by supporting those to achieve some of the things that you've achieved as well. When you share this opportunity with others and you help them to be successful, that's really where you can really maximize this plan. So let's get started. But before we really dive into these two particular bonuses and how this allows you to really maximize this plan, I wanna refresh us on some terms that we'll be using through this presentation that'll be important for you to know. Many of you probably already know them, but just in case, wanna make sure that we're all speaking the same language here when it comes to the LifeWave compensation plan. So the first term is volume which is a measure that represents the value of the products purchased by your customers and members, right? There are two different types of volume though. We have personal volume, which we call PV, and that represents the product purchases made by you or your personal customers. We also have business volume or BV, and that refers to the product purchases made by members of your team as well as their personal customers. It's also important to understand the difference between our power leg and a profit leg. We talked about how in a binary, we build in teams, correct? So we have two teams or two legs, and we, we refer to those as the power team or leg or the profit team or leg. And as you build in those two teams, the team that has the most BV, business volume, is considered your power leg. And the team that has the smallest amount of BV is considered your profit leg. Now, this could switch from week to week based on the BV levels within each team. Additionally, we have what's called cycle ratio. And what this refers to is each time you have the needed amount of volume or BV within your teams, you can earn a cycle bonus up to $50. So the needed volume to complete or have the correct cycle ratio is 660 BV in your power leg 
and 330 BB in your profit leg. Once that requirement's met, once that cycle ratio is in place, it will trigger a cycle bonus of $50. Now there are some limits to the amount of cycles that you can have each week based on your pay does rank, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Now, cyclable volume. Each week, you have a new opportunity to qualify for the cycle bonus by creating cyclable volume. Now, cyclable volume is the BV or volume that meets that cycle ratio that we just talked about. The 660 BV on your power leg and the 330 BV on your profit leg. At the end of each week, the BV on each leg will be calculated and the BV that meets that cycle volume ratio will be processed and consumed, which results in binary or cycle commissions. So an important term to remember. We also have a term called carryover volume, and that's any uncycled BV that is stored in your power and profit legs are carried forward for 52 weeks from week to week. Now we also have mature volume, and that refers to uncycled BV in, that is stored in both your power and profit leg, and it carries over from week to week, right? But after those 52 weeks, when the volume matures, it will no longer be carried forward and it's processed and consumed on a rolling and continuous basis. So the cycle volume and the mature volume rules or terms, that those really play hand in hand together couple more terms. Active status. To be considered active and eligible for binary or cycle commissions and matching bonus, you're required to have at least 55 PV within your account each month. Now, specifically to matching bonus and to be able to maximize your earnings when it comes to both binary and matching bonus, and in fact, matching bonus doesn't actually qualify at the 55 PV. You have to have 110 PV to qualify for that. But to be eligible or what we refer to as binary qualified, you must have 55 PV active each month. And that's your active status. Now, monthly subscription order. To help you with maintaining your active status, we encourage you to sign up for a monthly subscription order each month that order will be shipped automatically to you and it will help you to remain active. We also provide monthly maintenance kits or packs that you can purchase and it will send you all the product at once and keep you active for a certain amount of time. Okay. All right, so again, four ways to earn. We definitely have a few ways that we can earn. And today, like I said before, we're going to be focused on binary commissions and matching bonus binary or cycle bonus slash commissions. So this is, this is really a fun part of our plan because this is where the binary really does the work. This is where you can maximize not only your efforts, the efforts of your team, and then also the efforts of people that you're working with your upward team as they also bring people into the business. They, they, they add to the volume within your overall binary team. So just because someone wasn't brought in by you or someone that you personally brought in doesn't matter. The volume from those orders, if they're placed within your team, those count towards your volume or your BV for the week, which results in cycle bonus, right? Once you meet that cycle ratio and you have that cyclable volume that opens up the opportunity for you to earn commissions on all the volume within both of those teams. So with binary commissions, like we talked about, we build in teams, that is the binary model. And you're only required to build two teams or legs. We refer to those interchangeably. So each position, your position, has a max of two positions directly under it. One would be considered your power leg and one would be considered your profit leg. And like we talked about earlier, which leg is power or profit is dependent on the total BV that's within each of those teams each week. And it can switch. So it's really common though, for one team to grow faster than the other. Usually it's the team that you share with your sponsor and their line of sponsorship or their, their binary line, it will grow a little bit faster. So again, like I shared, the power leg is the team that's growing faster or has more volume in it than the other. And then the profit leg is the one with less volume. 
So, and like I said before, they can definitely switch from week to week, but it's based on the total BV for the week, like I've shared. So the amount of cycles per week that are eligible to receive those binary commissions, they're dependent on your enrollment title or your paid as rank. So as you can see from this cute little example over here, when you have that cycle ratio in place, the 660 to the 330, that opens up what we call a cycle volume unit, right? And we'll talk a little bit about what that means and how that all works a little bit later. So binary cycle commissions. When you enroll new members, you simply place them on your power leg or your profit leg. If the positions immediately below those are taken, you simply place that new member in the first available position on either of those legs. So like I said a second ago, commissions are based on purchases under your position. It doesn't matter if you enrolled them or someone that you enrolled enrolled them. If they're placed underneath you in the tree, you get credit for that volume, right? That's unlimited depth, infinite earning potential, and that is pretty exciting. That's why binaries are so awesome because really it's, it's working as a team, everyone together building something special and we all benefit from it. I love that, it's like paying it forward. So when sales are generated in any position in your team or your legs, regardless of sponsorship, that volume flows up to you and to each position along the way. So everyone gets to benefit from that. Now, as you can see, this is what I was talking about a second ago. When you have 660 BV on your power leg and 330 BV on your profit leg, that is what you need to have a cycle, right? So that's the right cycle ratio. And anytime you have volume that meets that ratio, it's considered cyclable volume and can generate up to $50 in commissions. So it's important to really understand that because that's really the basis of how the binary works. Once you understand that it's all the volume in your team and that anytime you meet this ratio, it can generate a bonus for you, that you, you just think about how that can start to add up, right? As you work and support those that are within your team to bring in new people, and as you partner with your Upward team, they also can help you with that spillover volume that's coming into play, and you can have a lot happening within your team. Now let's talk about binary qualified. I mentioned this a second ago. Now to be eligible to earn up to $50 a cycle, you need to meet a few requirements for you to be able to, again, maximize on the volume within your team. So it's important that you're looking towards meeting these requirements at all times so that whenever there is volume that's generated within each week, you can access the maximum amount of commissions available to you. So you must be active 55 PV. Right now, we talked a second ago about based on your paid as rank, you may need to bump it up to 110. But for the baseline qualification, you must be at least a 55 PV active for the month. You also have to have at least one personally sponsored bronze or above member on each team or leg. OK, so bronze or above that is referring to an enrollment title. Now, we'll talk about that a little bit more in depth, but really what that refers to is which kit did someone join the company with? So if they purchased a bronze enrollment kit, then they're considered a bronze or above, right? And as you know, we have multiple kits that individuals can purchase based on what's right for them and their needs currently within the business and as they start to, as they start to build their LifeWave business. The other requirement is that you have to have the correct cycle ratio in place. Like we talked about, that's that 660 BV on the power leg and the 330 BV on the profit leg. Anytime that's in place, you can potentially generate a commission. So if you have all three of these requirements in place, you are able to cycle. And we will talk about some additional requirements and some maximum amounts that you can earn each week based on your enrollment title, as well as your paid as rank. Okay, now this is a cute little example of how this cycle ratio works. This particular example, we have 1500 BV on the power leg and we have 900 BV on the profit leg. Now, as a reminder, and as you can see from that cute little happy smile face, all of that volume is, is made up of any customer or member purchases within either of those teams. Regardless of who brought them into the business, if they're within your binary tree, that volume counts towards you. 
So for in this example, like I said, we have the amount in the power leg and the profit leg. Now, as you can see here, we have enough volume from that amount to cycle twice. It's met the cycle ratio two times. So 1,320 BV on our power leg and 660 BV on our profit leg is all what we consider cyclable volume because it's met that cycle ratio. There is some additional volume that doesn't meet that criteria. And the exciting thing is I will get paid out on that volume, two cycles, $100, woohoo. And then that volume that didn't meet the requirement, it rolls over to the next week. As long as that volume that's rolling over to the next week is not older than 52 weeks old or a year, it'll carry over, right? So I have an opportunity to cycle on it once I meet that, that cycle ratio. So that's called carryover volume, like we discussed earlier. Now, I mentioned a second ago, we have enrollment titles and we have ranks. As a reminder, we do have a few different titles here. We have five, and it's based on which pack or kit you purchased when you joined the company or if you upgraded. Now, there are a lot of benefits to all these packages. You take advantage of great pricing, and it also, in some senses, can open up opportunity for you for additional bonuses. We will talk in a second about paid as rank. And one requirement to be one, our very first paid as rank is to have at least a gold enrollment title. Now, if someone joined the company and they weren't at a gold enrollment title, let's say they joined as a bronze or a silver, it's no problem. You simply upgrade your enrollment title and then you, are access, you can access those additional earnings. Now, if you, someone is an enrollment title, meaning they haven't yet achieved one of our paid as ranks, there is a maximum that they can earn in binary cycle commissions each week. And that would be $100 or two cycles. So as you can see from the slide here, there, there's definitely an income that can be earned even if you haven't built a team yet, but it is a bit limited. So we definitely encourage you to start sharing with others that maybe have the same inclinations as you and would wanna be able to share LifeWave technology with others. So uh, just remember, enrollment titles are limited to two cycles a week. Now paid as rank and weekly minimums or maximums, I should say, maximums. As you can see, once you pass the enrollment titles and you reach the first rank that we have, which is manager, it opens up a huge amount of potential. This is what I'm talking about when we say maximizing the compensation plan. There's a lot of potential within each of these ranks. Each of these dollar bonus amounts that are you're eligible for each week are dependent on some qualifications. But the interesting thing is that there's a lot of cycles associated with each of these ranks. So once you've achieved this rank and met the qualifications that are listed here, it opens up so much opportunity for you. It allows you to maximize and really bring home the bonuses associated with all the cyclable volume. And as a reminder, again, that cyclable volume isn't necessarily just from you and your customers and people you've personally brought in, right? Binaries are awesome because again, it's everyone working together to achieve more and everyone gets rewarded. It's pretty exciting. As you can see, as a manager, you have the opportunity to earn $1,500 a week if you meet that cycle ratio and you have enough cyclable volume. So as your volume increases within your teams and you meet those ratios, you have an opportunity to cycle quite a bit. All the way up to senior presidential director as our top rank, $25,000 a week maximum. That's a lot of cycles. So there's a lot of potential just within this third way to earn within our plan. Now, as you can see, once you, once you move past the enrollment titles, you do need to be active 110 PV, which I mentioned before. You also need to be an enrollment title of gold or above. So I encourage you to make sure that those on your team are understanding of these requirements and they make adjustments to their purchasing or who they're sharing with customer wise each month. Because as a reminder, PV is your purchases as well as your customer purchases. So you don't necessarily have to purchase the product yourself, which I do recommend because they're great. And I want you to have the benefits of what this technology can do for you, but also you can, you can be active by simply sharing with customers and their purchases count towards yours as well. 
Okay, we talked a little bit about carryover volume a second ago. So I wanted to, to share a few additional details when it comes to carryover volume and our volume maturity rule that we talked about a little bit. So LifeWave protects any volume that wasn't cycled didn't meet the cycling ratio, wasn't considered cyclable volume, that volume will carry forward each week for you to cycle later. And that happens for a year. Pretty exciting. Now, once, once it's, it's past that year mark, it will, it will, it'll drop off, but it won't all be at once, right? It's just on a continuous basis. And that's an important thing. Now, one thing to consider when it comes to cyclable volume, like I was sharing before, is that let's say you're maxing out how much you can earn as a paid ads manager. You're, you have enough volume within your group to cycle more than the allowable amount. As we said, it's pretty high. It's $1,500 a week, which equates to 30 cycles. But let's say you just have tons of volume coming through your team and you're generating more cyclable volume than, than you're eligible to actually receiving commissions. First, I would encourage you to work on achieving the next rank so you can get rewarded for all of that volume that's coming through your team. But at the same time, it takes time to be able to achieve those growth, those growth potentials within your organization and to get the structures in place to achieve those next ranks. So because of that, both enrollment titles, I should say enrollment titles, all enrollment titles are excluded from the cyclable volume rule, which the cyclable volume rule just means again, that any, any volume within your team that meets the cycle ratio will be processed and consumed each week. But at an enrollment title, you're limited to two cycles, two cycles a week. So if you have more volume than you can cycle, and you haven't yet achieved the paid as rank of manager or above, all of that volume will, will carry forward as long as it hasn't exceeded the 52 weeks. Now, we do have a special rule in, in there as well, or I, I should say an exception or exclusion. So for the first year that you're with the company, the first 52 weeks from your enrollment date, if you are a paid as manager, you are also excluded from that cycle volume rule. Okay, cyclable volume rule. So the thing that, it, that really comes into play is as you're working to establish your team, as you're working to uh, achieve more and grow your business, if you happen to have more volume, more, more volume than you could cycle, uh, more than the 30 cycles as a paid ads manager, you are also excluded from having all of the cyclable volume uh, being processed and consumed each week. So. Once you've passed that one-year mark, uh, if you're manager and above, you are definitely a part of that rule. So you'll want to, again, focus on how you can expand your team, how you can maximize your earning potential for all the volume that's coming through your tree. So there are a couple little caveats there, and it's important to understand those, especially when people are new to the business, because this gives you an opportunity to help them grow within that time frame and to show them the power of the binary and what makes sense for you and for them and how you work together to really capture the income that is waiting in the binary. Now, this is a specific example that kind of illustrates the cyclable volume rule, how the cycle ratios work and how carryover volume can work. Now, for this particular example, this individual is a paid as manager and it, they've been with us for over a year. Okay. So they're not excluded from the cycle volume rule. In this particular example, there is enough volume to meet the cycle ratio of 31 cycles. So in the power leg, there's 21,460 total BB. In the profit leg, there's 10,260 total BB. Now, as you can see, and like I just said, that equates to 31 cycles. So when you look at that, that's pretty exciting, right? Because this person is really maxing out how much they can make as a manager, which is awesome. We want everyone maxing out. We want everyone to continue to grow. But the maximum amount that someone can earn as a paid as manager is 30 cycles. So with this particular example, there will be all 31 cycles will be processed and consumed. 
And anything that's above that will be considered carryover volume and it will roll to the next week. So as you can see from this example, that would be a thousand BV on the power leg and 30 BV on the profit leg would roll forward to the next week and would be counted towards the total BV within the power and the profit leg and will be counted towards the cyclable volume ratio and cyclable volume eligible for commissions. Now, one thing that I should just mention briefly is that the oldest volume is what cycles first, right? So because we have this volume maturity rule, I think it's important to understand that the volume that's processed first is the older volume, right? So we're gonna make sure that that volume is being paid out before any new volume. But again, if you're coming close to maxing out within, within your paid as rank, that really doesn't come into much play anyway, but just something to be aware of as you're looking to understand exactly how does this work? How, does, how do I earn commissions and how do I maximize the binary? Okay, so back to this example. So because the maximum I can earn as a paid as manager is $1,500, I will receive that $1,500, awesome. And then the 31 cycles we have been processed and the carryover volume will roll to the next week for me and count towards my total volume. So not everyone will have more cycles than, they, than they're eligible for. They won't often have that happen, but people get really close. And again, these thresholds, these maximum amounts that we have set for each rank are intentionally set high. We want you to have the opportunity to earn commissions on all the volume that's coming through your tree, right? We do wanna encourage you to continue to develop within your organization and build, build your business further, but we want you to be able to maximize on what's happening within your teams. So hopefully this example kind of helps to explain that just a little bit. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the matching bonus. And matching bonus is so exciting. It really is. You know, I, I think binaries are so cool because again, it's everyone working together to achieve more, helping each other to earn lots of money together. I love that. And the thing that's exciting about the matching bonus is it further supports that, right? When we help others join the business, we encourage, we share, we get them excited because we're excited. They join the business as we help them to grow their teams and to expand their ranks and to achieve more, you get an additional bonus on top of binary commissions. Those bonuses don't take away from what someone else can achieve within their own binary or cycle commissions. It's on top of it. So it's on top of what you earn for cycle commissions, on top of what your people, your personally sponsored and the people they brought into the business as well have earned in binary commissions. And then we have matching bonus that's on top of it. And this is really where a lot of that residual income can come into play. Let's talk a little bit about what it actually means. So matching bonus is unlimited. So we talked about in the binary how within each of our paid as ranks, there are maximum amounts that can be earned each week. But within matching bonus, that simply is not the case, right? You have the potential to earn 20 to 25% match of the binary commissions of those that you've personally sponsored, that those that you personally sponsored, personally sponsor, and who those individuals have personally sponsored as well up to three levels below you. Pretty exciting. And like I said, 20 to 25% on top of those binary commissions that are being paid to your team. Really, really cool. So I love it, right? Because as we help others to achieve more, we are rewarded for that. That's exciting, right? Because if we're only being paid on or rewarded for the activities that we do ourselves, we're probably gonna focus on that more. But the great thing about our binary plan is that we're rewarded more for helping others to achieve more. So really what it incentivizes, what it does, what it encourages is for you to help those that you've shared the opportunity with, to support them, to mentor them, to help them grow. And I love that. You know, I think anytime we work together, we achieve more. And so that's why this is an exciting way to be rewarded for those efforts. Now, as you can see uh, from this visual, we do pay up to the first three levels on your enroller tree. Now, enroller tree is a term that we didn't talk about before, so I wanna make sure everyone understands the difference between your binary tree 
and your enroller tree. Now, like I said before, in a binary tree, it's people that you've brought in on your power and your profit leg, and also people that have been placed in both your power and your profit leg by other people within your team. All of those individuals and all of the volume associated with orders from them and their customers count towards your total BV and help you to earn those binary commissions. Now, an enroller tree is within your binary tree but it's only those that you have personally brought into the business and those that they've personally brought in, okay? So it's, it's a little bit different. So anyone that you haven't personally sponsored or who is not attached to someone that you personally sponsored by a direct line of sponsorship there would not be included in your enroller tree, but the enroller tree is contained within your binary. Okay, so as you can see from the visual, we do pay first, second, and third. And the percentages are a little bit different based on whatever level someone is in relation to you and who you personally sponsored. So for everyone that you've personally brought into the business, you have the potential of earning a 25% match on their binary commissions. Now, there are a few things that you need to do to qualify to receive those commissions. You must be 110 PV active and you must be a paid as manager or above. Okay, so really what we're going to talk about in a second, what are we trying to achieve? What's the most important first step? And why would we want to try to achieve what well, we'll talk about manager? And also what are some of the benefits of our second rank director? You can see here as well, you are eligible for second level, which is a 20% match of binary commissions on top of what they've earned. You must also be 110 PV active to qualify for second level, be a paid as manager or as above, same as level one, but you must be cycling at least six times to be eligible for this. So there's a volume requirement there. There needs to be enough volume that's coming through your tree for you to be able to cycle at least six times to be eligible for level two. Now for third level, this is also a 20% match. You also need to be 110 PV active. And in this situation, it's a little bit different, right? Because basically you need to be a director, right? Sort of, <laughs> and you need to have someone on your team that's earning level two matching. So they need to meet the requirements of level two. There are also a minimum of 10 cycles that you must be earning each week. So there's also that volume requirement. So when you meet all of these, it really unlocks a huge potential for you in your earnings. And again, there are no limits. So it doesn't matter what your rank is. If you've helped a lot of people to, to join the business and they're achieving and they're growing, you will, be, you will be able to be rewarded for that activity, right? So certainly there are some requirements when it comes to achieving it uh, based on rank and having enough volume within your team but there are no limits to the amount that you can earn within this bonus. So pretty exciting. I really do love this part of our plan and I think it is so cool. Okay, so this is an example that I've shared before that kind of illustrates the power of what the matching bonus can be. So as you can see from this example, we have three levels listed here. We have Tom on the first level, Sue on the second level, and Jose on the third level. For this example, I am qualified for all three levels of matching. I mean, all those requirements that we just went over. Now, as you can see from all the visuals here, I can earn up to 420 extra dollars on top of what I earn for binary commissions and on top of what these individuals have earned for their binary commissions. I get that 25% on my first level with Tom. I get 20% on my second level with Sue. And I get another 20% on that third level with Jose. When I add it all together, that's an additional $420 in this particular example. So you can see that's just with three people, okay? So think about it. If I've enrolled a few people into this organization, my business, I brought them in, we're sharing together, and they start to help other people, just imagine how that number can just explode. Again, that's with three people. Right? So just think of what the potential looks like and what your earnings could be in this space. Again, remember, this is an unlimited bonus. So you're not going to be limited based on your rank or anything except meeting those qualifications to be able to receive these commissions. Okay, so we talked about what should I be working towards? 
how do I maximize this plan? What, what should I be doing? Now, I always say your first goal absolutely should be to reach the rank of manager. It's really important because when you reach the rank of manager, it unlocks a lot of earning potential for you. And it really lets you have the ability to access not only cycle commissions, but as well as the matching bonus. Now, again, if you haven't received the, the title of manager yet, you haven't earned that rank, that's okay. You can still earn up to $100 each week as an enrollment title, but you are limited in that space. Again, you, you need to be binary qualified to receive commissions, but when you reach manager, it just opens up so much opportunity for you. So when you're, when you're bringing someone new into the business, I really would encourage you to help them set their sights on achieving this first goal so they can have the potential to access all the volume that's flowing through the organization. Because again, you as their sponsor partnering with your upline team as well, there could be quite a bit of volume that's coming through. And as we build both of our teams, our power leg and our profit leg, that is going to help us meet that cycle ratio and access those binary commissions. So pretty exciting. So to become a manager, you need to reach the enrollment title of gold or above. We already talked about that. 110 PV active and have two personally sponsored silver or above and active. Okay, they have to also remain active for you to qualify on each leg. Now this visual here that you see is a screenshot of something that's available in the back office for you. So you can always check, uh, see where you are with your qualifications for the week and be able to determine what sort of commissions you can expect to receive based on your paid as rank, as well as the volume that's within your team. So I encourage you to get familiar with that. As you can see here, this view promotions details, when you click that, it tells you exactly what you need to do to make 100% on Achieving Manager. Now, I love this visual. This was shared with me by one of our SPDs, Onyx Cole. I love this as just a visual to help us as we're getting started and working towards Manager. This is just an example of what might be a good way to start building out your team, your profit leg and your power leg. It's just, it's just an idea and something that I think is definitely a great strategy, but I always encourage you to work directly with your sponsor, work directly with your upward team so they can help you know what makes sense for you and your team, for your group, for how you're choosing to share and build your organization. From this example, you can see the first individual you would want to place on the leg you share with your sponsor. Your second and third individuals that you bring in would be on the leg you don't share with your sponsor. And then your fourth individual you bring in to help you achieve the rank of manager back on the leg that you share with your sponsor. Now you can see there are there's that gray dot within your within one of your legs. That's someone that your sponsor placed. And exciting, the volume from that person will flow up to you for potential commissions. As long as you're you're making sure that you're binary qualified, and then as you earn the rank of manager and maintain that rank, it opens up that opportunity for you to achieve. So why, why do we wanna be a manager? Why is it important? How is this first important step going to help you maximize your earnings in the compensation plan? Well, like we've talked about a lot, it opens up at least 30 cycles or up to $1,500 a week if you have the correct cycling ratio and cyclable volume. Also, it gives you access to the first level matching bonus that we just talked about, 25% on your first level personally sponsored. Pretty cool. It also opens up the opportunity to, to receive the second level matching bonus at the 20% mark for those that are on your second level of personally sponsored. So as you can see, as a manager, you have the opportunity to access a lot when you achieve and maintain this rank. So I definitely encourage you to work towards it because this is going to be the first step in absolutely maximizing what you can earn within this plan. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about a director. This is the second step, the second goal that you should have once you've achieved manager and you're getting close to maxing out your earning potential. You're gonna have to do a few more things and you'll have a few more people on your team. First, you must be, as we've talked about, a gold or above enrollment title and have at least 110 PV. That's an important thing that you need to maintain for yourself to maximize your potential. Now, as you can see from this, this visual here, you need to have two personally sponsored managers on your team, one on the right, one on the left. 
or like we typically say, power or profit, which again, we know can switch. Basically, personally sponsored manager on each leg. Now you'll still need to have an additional two personally sponsored silvers or above on either of your legs. Now, as you can see from this structure, your personally sponsored managers will have some second level individuals that are part of their qualification. So you're working with them to achieve this and then that allows you to be a director, which definitely opens up more opportunity within the binary as well as the matching bonus. So why director? Why is that the second step? Why should someone even care about continuing to work your way through the career path? continuing to work yourself through what you can achieve as you share. Now, like we talked about within this rank, you can actually cycle 50 times or up to $2,500 a week. That, I mean, that is definitely something that I would like. That's definitely something that most people would be excited about. So you really open up additional earning opportunity for yourself and to access more of those commissions that be coming through your team. Again, you would already be qualified for level one matching bonus, the 25%. You'd also be level two matching bonus as long as you're meeting the requirements with the cycling, right? And you're also eligible for level three matching bonus, which again is another 20%. Now, in order for you to be qualified at this, your managers must also be earning level two matching, which we know means six cycles a week. So these are really important milestones, and this really is going to help you unlock the potential and maximize your ability to earn within the plan. Now, certainly, as we've talked about within each rank, there's a lot of potential as you continue to work towards more volume within your team, as you advance in rank, as you share the opportunity with more people, your opportunity increases. You can see here as you progress you have the ability to access more of that cyclable volume that is brought in from you, your customers, your personally sponsored, their customers. And again, like we've talked about, any individuals that are placed within your tree by your upward team. So very exciting and certainly something we wanna to work towards, but I really encourage everyone to start with manager and then work to director. Those are two very important ranks. Now, getting to senior presidential director requires a little bit more effort, and there are some volume requirements. And within each rank above that, there are some additional volume requirements that you really need to consider. But this is the exciting part. Again, as you advance, your earning potential increases, and that's how you really can maximize what you can achieve within the plan. So I really thank you all for joining us today as we talked a little bit about what you can do to maximize your earning potential within our compensation plan. It really is simple. It really is focused and it's absolutely rewarding. And as you really, really focus on achieving those first two ranks and then beyond, that opens up the potential for you to be able to make a huge difference in your life and the lives of others, not only with this technology, but within the financial opportunity for so many people. So I hope this, this webinar helped you to see what your next steps are. And as you look towards achieving more and earning more, you know what you need to do. Thank you again for joining us and we'll see you on our next webinar in a few weeks. Bye-bye now.